Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 559, primarily in a row. My name's Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. Hey, that's the Scorpions. We're going to rock you like a hurricane. Love that song. I heard it at the, I was walking through Lowe's the other day and it was on. I'm like, you know what? This is one of those things about getting older that people, they, they short sell it, right? They short sell how cool it is that when, you know, because when you're a kid and you're walking through, like when I was walking through Kmart and JCPenney, I'm like, what is this Elvis? I'm tired of listening to this stuff. And I don't have that thing where I want to listen to the music my parents listened to when I was a kid. I want to listen to the music that I enjoyed listening to when I was a kid. You put this one on the list. I remember I was like, that is the coolest song ever. Just love the Scorpions. Love that sound. Anyway, it's uh, 428.20. That means it's a two for Tuesday, which is your weekly reminder that when you get the opportunity to bless somebody, take it. You'll never regret it. Um, it is also the, I believe, the 13th anniversary of my sister Sarah Kay and her husband Tyler getting married. So congratulations to you guys. Seriously. Man, 13 years. That's crazy. That was right before Sam was born. Um, all right, moving on. It's it's a work day for me. I've got work to do. I'm sure you do too. Uh, first things first, I'm still the realist. I'm also essential. Yeah, what my company is considered an essential uh, we provide an essential service, therefore I'm an essential worker, even though I'm on the commercial side and I'm mostly just talking, not doing a whole bunch of work. Uh, but nonetheless, I'll take it. And so the reason I brought this up is last night, Sissy and I were watching TV after we got Jack to bed and bro was in his room playing his game. And uh, as you know, there was a commercial on where they were thanking all the essential workers. I'm like, hey, you're welcome. He's like, what, what are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, I, I got a letter from my employer that talks about how we're an essential worker. So uh, yeah, look. Technically, I don't think they were talking to me, but I'll take it, right? It's not like I actually took anything. I just took the stroke. All right, moving on. Our real talk for the day. Are you stuck? If so, focus on your work. What do I mean by stuck, right? Stuck, and, and I, I never understood this concept until I had kids. And the first time I noticed it was with Sam. It was all about anger, right? He would get upset with something. He couldn't let it go. Um, and then Frozen came along, and they were singing, let it go, let it go. And by the way, the snow never bothered me anyway either, right? Um, sorry, man, how can you not want to play guitar with that? That is amazing. All right, anyway, when I find myself stuck, like I did over the weekend, right? When I was complaining about, in my mind, I was having this conversation about these people, you know, who had wronged me in some way. And I was going to exact revenge. And they said, like, you know what? You want to get revenge? Live well. Ball. Do your job. Focus on your work. If I focus on my work, if I focus on me instead of all the fools around me, like just talking, right? Just talking nonsense, right? If I focus on that, Taylor Swift talks about it, right? <laughs> stress and obsessing over somebody else is never any fun. I got you, girl, right? So I'm not going to stress and obsess. I'm only going to focus on myself. Had a great weekend, great productive weekend, great productive day yesterday. We're just going to keep going. We're going to keep stacking. So if you get stuck, whether it's, you know, where they get your feelings hurt, whether you're mad, where they get your heart broke. What, I saw this thing on Instagram, three best teachers, empty pockets, a broken heart or a failure, right? Those are the best teachers. Now, look, we need our teachers, but I'm saying like real life stuff, right? Seriously, get your heart broke, go broke or get an F on something. Fail, right? <clears throat> the best way to learn anything. All right. With that, let's go to our thank yous. Because we got to be thankful every single day. Number one, God is good. Can't deny, right? I was thinking about that last night when I'm putting together that swing set. I'm like, man, that I get so much. We had we had a playhouse when I was a kid, but it was nothing like this thing, right? This thing's badass. Um, and I'm like, man, I'm so I, I'm more thankful that I can give this to my kids and that they can. This is their life than if I'd have had that myself. Uh, thankful to my sister Liz, who's my timekeeper. Hi, Jack. You want, you want to come in and say hi to everybody? You just showed the girls a new playground? All right. So my sister, Liz, she's like my timekeeper, right? Like she's the one that tipped me off that was Sarah's anniversary day. So thank you, Liz. Love you. I see you. And I accept your challenge. I'm going to do, yeah, I'm in. I'll be one of your accountability partners. Thankful for Samuel T. Hadn't seen that kid for a while, right? He came back yesterday, was eager to help, just wanted to hang out with me. Addison, are you kidding me? Like that girl. Whew. Like she, she came yesterday morning, it was raining when their mama dropped them off for school and she ran from the car to me and like 
I just, it's awesome. And then Jack, you know, that kid, uh, he's my stalker, right? He follows me everywhere I go. Like he just can't, he had to come in here because he hadn't seen me in 10 minutes. He had to come steal something in the league. Uh, I'm thankful that we made the decision to buy a pool because it's slowly being announced that no public pools are being opened around here. And um, I should have ordered, I wanted to get a different pool, but I was a second guessing myself. And so I didn't get the one I wanted. I got a different one. It's all good. But I'm thankful that we're going to have a pool because it's going to be hot and we're going to need things to do. Um, I'm thankful for y'all, right? Seriously. Um, I love the, you know, people have been urging me along like, bro, po post some of this stuff that you do on Instagram. People love it, blah, blah, blah. And the swing set's a perfect example. Just it allows me to reconnect with people that I haven't connected with uh, on a topical instead of, hey, how are you? Uh, it's just fun. It's fun. I love it. And then uh, the last one is I'm thankful for gorillas, right? So the QE1 sent me this little, you know, clip of a gorilla, you know, and she told me, she's like, hey, that girl, you, I, I was watching this clip about a gorilla. It reminds me of you. So here's what I'm going to tell all y'all, right? Uh, I agree. Like when you watch monkey shows and all that stuff on the, on the, um, the Discovery Channel or whatever, and you see a monkey or a gorilla, especially like a baboon or a silverback gorilla, especially the silverbacks, you can be like, oh my God, that's just like Rob, especially if you've ever seen me have one of my shit fits where I'm throwing, like literally last night, I'm outside working on the, uh, trying to finish up the, uh, the, the swing set. And I'm at the part of the slide and I'm frustrated. I'm tired. I just want it to be over. I can't get this one. And as I'm trying to attach it, the slide to the, the main building, Jack decides that he's going to keep coming down the slide. And at one point he jumps on the slide and pinches my fingers. I'm like, God dang it. Ah! And I like just pushed him down the slide. And I'm like, now get the hell out of here. So he ran inside crying, you know, and it, the moment he's running away, I started feeling bad. I'm like, yeah, but he's also got to understand boundaries, right? Like I told him 22 times, like, just give me a minute here. And then I'm watching this clip of the, the, the gorillas, exact same gesture and everything. I'm like, oh my God. When I told people like, look, look at me, right? Like I'm pretty hairy. I kind of act like a girl. I'm closer to the ape than most of you. I mean it. Seriously. Just saying. All right. With that, we're done. Hands up. Peace out. We're better together. Appreciate you guys stopping by on a two for Tuesday. We'll be back tomorrow on a hump day. Hump day. Can't wait to see you then. Deuces. Hashtag real talk. Go get yours, right? Mm-hmm.